votes go out in California's presidential primary this week. Tonight, Republican presidential candidate Nikki Haley holding one of her first campaign events here in California. This was an event she held earlier today in Costa Mesa that I was out. Fox 11's Chelsea Edwards is live in Hollywood, where the latest event is about to begin. Chelsea. Yep, just less than 30 minutes now. She's about to start. I just spoke to organizers here, and they say she is running on time, so this is going to start right at 7 p.m. Uh, we're at the American Legion in Hollywood on Highland Boulevard. And let me show you the setup here. So I'm far away from the camera right now because of this. The, the media is sort of stationed in between the chairs in the back of the theater. Uh, the camera's locked in that position until after the event is over. And take a look at the stage here. Organizers say they got hundreds of RSVPs for this event. Now we can see a few dozen, probably 100 people here in the crowd. So far, people are, are coming in, though. They're trickling in. It's raining outside right now, so that might be hindering the process of people getting here because uh, it is so messy on the roads, especially on Highland Boulevard out there. So here's the plan. Haley is going to take the stage at 7 o'clock. She's expected to speak for about 45 minutes. She's not planning a Q&A session at this particular rally, but she is planning to invite people up after her remarks. She's going to do a meet and greet and a photo op with audience members there on that stage. Of course, Haley in second place in the Republican presidential primaries behind Donald Trump. And as you mentioned, Alex, she's been campaigning here in California today. Of course, you met up with her earlier this morning in Orange County. And so far, the crowd you're seeing here, uh, very orderly, you know, again, coming in from the rain, everyone's shaking off their umbrellas and uh, coming in, taking their seats, a lot of people taking selfies and things like that. So this is the setting right now. Again, she is running on time. This is going to start at seven o'clock tonight. Uh, we will be here for the entire event and we will bring you a full wrap up coming up in our 10 o'clock show. That's the latest from Hollywood. I'll send it back to you guys in the studio. Chelsea, what's the crowd like? Who, who are you seeing there? What's like the demographic of the Nikki Haley supporter? That's a very good question, Alex. Um, a lot of a lot of older folks that we're seeing. Um, you know, I, I honestly haven't talked to many of the people coming in. Again, everyone's kind of excited to get out of the rain and take their seats, and we've been kind of locked in this media position. So we'll get a better sense of that, I think, after this event, once we've talked to people who've actually gone up and done the meet and greet. But yeah, as you see for now, people just really very calm, very kind of subdued, taking their seats and getting ready for this thing to start. All right, very good, Chelsea. We'll look forward to your report tonight at 10 o'clock. Thank you. So Chelsea just mentioned it, the former U.N. ambassador hosting a meet and greet this morning in Costa Mesa, uh, where there were some Trump supporters outside, giving her a hard time. All this is part of a two-day fundraising swing that has seen the candidate raise nearly a million bucks. That's the good news for her. The not-so-good news, this number from last night in Nevada where Haley came in second in the GOP primary, losing by more than 30 points to the option, none of these candidates. There were no delegates at stake in that race. Trump was not on the ballot last night. He's competing in the upcoming Nevada caucus, which is kind of confusing. Mm -hmm. uh, but despite all this, that headline is not great, and last night's result leading to mockery online. So I asked her about the outcome in an exclusive interview. Does that situation in Nevada hurt a little bit? No. I mean, Nevada, it's such a scam. They were supposed to have a primary. Trump rigged it so that the GOP chairman, who's been indicted, would go and create a caucus. We knew months ago that we weren't going to spend a day or a dollar in Nevada because it wasn't worth it. Mm -hmm. And so we didn't even count Nevada. That wasn't anything we were looking at. We knew that it was rigged from the start. Sure. Our focus is on South Carolina, Michigan, Super Tuesday. So if you look what we did in Iowa and you look what we did in New Hampshire, we're continuing to grow. That's what matters, I think, more than anything else. But look at what happened this week. Mm. Here you have Republicans lost a major vote on the border. Mm -hmm. Republicans lost a major vote on Israel. Donald Trump was found that he will not have immunity in all of these court cases coming up. The RNC chair is fired. Mm -hmm. All of this chaos is happening around us, and Donald Trump's fingerprints are on every bit of it. We can't continue as the Republican Party to go forward with this chaos. You don't defeat Democrat chaos with Republican chaos, mm. and that's why we've got to see a change. So the Trump campaign responding to our interview, spokesman Stephen Chung posting this on X, quote, she's scared. You can see it. She's staring at the bright white light of her political career and is spinning out of control. This will be fun, meaning the next few months. So what is Haley's path to victory? There are currently no states where she's ahead in the polls. What is the specific path where you end up as the Republican nominee? I mean, look at what we've done. We had 14 candidates in this race. 
I've defeated a dozen of the fellas. Mm -hmm. I got one left. Mm -hmm. We were at 2% in Iowa. We finished with 20%. We got 43% New Hampshire. But think about that. The Republican incumbent, Trump, didn't get 43% New Hampshire. Now we're focused on South Carolina, and then it'll be Michigan and Super Tuesday. This is the opportunity for voters to say, do we want more of the same or do we want something new? More of the same is not just Joe Biden, it's also Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. You look at the fact that 70% of Americans don't want to see a Trump-Biden rematch. The majority of Americans disprove of Trump, the majority of Americans disprove of Biden. Both of those men put us trillions of dollars in debt that our kids are never going to forgive us for. And are we really going to have a country in disarray and a world on fire and have our two candidates be in their 80s? Because we need someone who can serve eight years strong discipline to get our country back on track. Full interview Friday, 1030 on the issue is. She exudes confidence. She exudes resilience. Do you get the idea, though, that she does think really underneath it all that the writing's on the wall? Well, I did ask her if it comes down to Trump versus Biden, who do you go for? And she said, got to go with the Republican. Hmm. So interesting. Okay. Look yeah. forward to more interview.